Good afternoon. Thank you for joining Vivian from TL Portfolio. For those of you who are coming to us for the first time, TL Portfolio is a sales and marketing and PR company. It was founded by Tina Lira eight years ago, and it was born in Brazil, but it's now become a global company with offices in Argentina, Mexico, and the US. Please follow us on our Instagram account and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today, I have the pleasure of welcoming Chris and Amy. They are from Seaborn. Seaborn is, as you can read on your screen, the world's finest ultra luxury resorts at sea. Um, today, they'll gonna, they're going to tell us all about Alaska and British Columbia. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Chris and Amy. Um, could you start by telling us a little bit of what Seaborn is currently like at the moment? Absolutely. Well, Vivian, thank you so much for the invitation. And uh, thank you to all of our travel advisors for, of course, joining us today. Um, we are all in this together, and together we will definitely prevail. And I know that every single day, every single week and month brings new challenges to us and hopefully some new opportunities. Um, as you saw, and to answer your question, Vivian, actually, um, our uh, pause was extended across three ships actually yesterday. Um, last week, actually, CLEAR did extend the voluntary pause of cruise operations uh, again. And obviously, we take very, very careful assessment whether we will be able to operate. And obviously, when the time is right, when the guidance is right, when the science and the data is right, we will definitely be operating. But unfortunately, as you, uh, as you recognize and as you see, Many cruise brands continue to extend their pause. Our pause varies by ship, uh, not uh, obviously uh, landing on one set date. It varies by ship. And all of that information is actually on our website. So we, Vivian, have our operations currently paused, but I can tell everybody there's an incredible amount of work being done around startup of operations. And in fact, uh, I'm based in Seattle, as is Amy. And uh, we were up uh, on a 7 a.m meeting this morning doing uh, exactly that, uh, working hard to further our progress to actually starting our operations. And one area that we are going to be really excited to return to is, of course, Alaska and British Columbia. And I think because of uh, Seabourn's ultra luxury small ship resort at sea, we do offer an incredible experience actually for our guests in Alaska and British Columbia. In 2021, it'll be our fourth year actually sailing. And as Amy will show, we'll do both north and southbound itineraries, pretty immersive itineraries, really delivering a unique experience with further opportunities for our guests, actually through Ventures by Seaborn, et cetera. And we're gonna explain all of these things this morning as to what makes actually Alaska really unique. At the end, I'll touch a little bit more about health and safety protocols, of course, and uh, Amy is actually going to cover, cover some of the promotional opportunities we have and, of course, our book with confidence policy. But, Amy, I'll pass to you and you can, uh, as this slide says, you can talk about our unique itineraries and what makes them very special. Well, thanks, Chris, and thank you, everybody, for joining this morning. So many of you on the line may know Alaska is very near and dear to my heart, and I have a huge passion for Alaska. In fact, I have a necklace that has the Alaska State on it on this morning. But I'm really excited to be here with all of you today to impart some of my knowledge and passion on Alaska, and especially as it relates to Seaborn and our, our resorts at sea, our ultra-luxury resorts at sea. And I think Seaborn is truly a unique way to experience Alaska. Small ship cruising through Alaska is one of the best ways to experience the destination. So as far as our itineraries are concerned, we have um, some amazing itineraries that travel through the Inside Passage from Vancouver to Juneau for a seven night voyage. And then from Juneau back down to Vancouver for another seven night voyage. And as you can see here, we're hitting some amazing destinations along the Inside Passage, all the way up from Vancouver, stopping at Alert Bay on Vancouver Island, Prince Rupert, which is also a beautiful destination um, for some great exploration. We're gonna be heading through Misty Fjords on some of our itineraries. And I'll talk about that in a minute. 
um, Wrangell and all the way up to Juneau. And then also some other destinations that we hit that are marquee destinations along the way, Ketchikan, Sitka, Haines. I actually lived in Haines for a little while. So very um, great, true, authentic Alaska destination. Icy Strait Point, which is a remote destination that we visit. What's unique about these itineraries in the, the in the grand scope of things is while there's seven nights, uh, you can actually combine both the north and southbound and do a 14 night journey and you're not gonna be repeating any ports of call. So a lot of cruise lines are out there, they're just doing kind of the churn and burn seven night itinerary round trip out of Seattle or Vancouver. But on our itineraries, you have the opportunity to expand that into a 14 night uh, journey and really truly see everything that the inside passage has to often offer. One of the things that the Inside Passage has to offer that is a marquee destination that not every line has the opportunity to visit is Glacier Bay National Park. So for those of you who have those National Park junkies, the only way to experience Glacier Bay National Park is either coming in by a ship or by a flight. You can't drive into Glacier Bay National Park. It is a collection of all sorts of amazing glacier destinations amongst fjords, beautiful mountain scenery, also amazing wildlife opportunities, not only from the marine wildlife, but also wildlife on land. Because as you're traveling in these really close passages into Glacier Bay, you have opportunities to see brown bear, black bear, mountain goats, and then the marine wildlife is extremely abundant. Um, as you sail into both Juneau and into Glacier Bay, there's amazing opportunities for you to see whales and whales of all sorts of species. There's Eight different species that migrate to Alaska during the summertime. Many of them are coming from the warm Pacific waters of Hawaii and heading into Alaska where the summer vacation. Um, and here you see the amazing humpback whale breaching here in the middle of one of the uh, inlets that you go through as you travel into Juneau and into Glacier Bay. And another thing to note about Glacier Bay National Park, not only is it a national park, but it's also a UNESCO heritage site. And we have some amazing opportunities for our clients worldwide to visit UNESCO heritage sites. And Alaska is certainly one of them. So in addition to the itineraries, our seven night itineraries, we also do some deeper 10 and 11 night itineraries that travel even further north into the interior of Alaska. So we've got itineraries that travel from Vancouver all the way up to Whittier. And along the way, they're gonna be stopping again at places like Misty Fjords, Wrangell, Juneau, Haines, Icy Strait Point. Um, and depending upon the itinerary, you might be going to Sitka or Ketchikan, each of these destinations, and I would love, trust me, I could talk for hours on Alaska. I could tell you each, about each of these destinations in great detail with a lot of amazing experiences, um, but I know we have limited time today. Um, but these itineraries are awesome because they're gonna take you from Vancouver up to the interior into Whittier. And once you're in Whittier, then you have the opportunity to explore the interior of Alaska. And I have always said that if you want to experience Alaska, you really need to do it by land and by sea, especially if it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The inside passage is only a very small, small, small portion of what Alaska has to offer. And if you get up into Whittier, we're gonna talk in a bit about in, in a bit here about our journeys program that'll allow you the opportunity to go deeper into Alaska. But some of the highlights on these 10 and 11 night journeys, you know, we talked about Glacier Bay being on our seven night itineraries. You always need to have a glacier experience when you're traveling to Alaska. That's, that's a must. You're going to spend the day on the ship and you're going to see these amazing glaciers. You're going to see calving. You're going to see fjords going in. You're going to see icebergs um, of which you're only seeing a, about a quarter of what that iceberg has to offer because most of it is underwater. But on this 10 and 11 night itineraries, you're going to get a special treat and you're going to get the opportunity to go to Hubbard Glacier. Uh, I've done Glacier Bay. I've done Dawes Glacier. I've been to Hubbard Glacier. Um, I really, truly believe that Hubbard Glacier is by far the most fantastic glacier experience in Alaska. It is the largest tidewater facing advancing glacier in North America. The face of the glacier is 
nearly six miles wide. The ice of the glacier is about 400 feet tall. So it is absolutely massive. And because it's advancing, that means that it's pushing ice forward and it's pushing ice forward at the rate of at least 10 meters a day. So you're gonna see great opportunities for amazing calving. And when you're on a small ship, like one of our seaborne ships, you have the opportunity to get up close and personal. And a lot of times you'll feel when those, when those calvings of ice come off, you will feel it on the ship. The ship will rock just ever so slightly. It's not gonna make you seasick, but it's really exciting. Um, and everybody is out on deck drinking their hot chocolates, maybe their hot toddies, they're warmed up in a blanket if it's chilly out. And it's absolutely amazing. And a lot of times people think that they wanna be on a ship and in Alaska when it's sunny and bright blue, skies, but to see a glacier on a cloudy day, you're actually seeing more of the blues that the glacier has to offer and the icebergs have to offer because of the way the light reflects off the glacier and the density of the ice. So just a little bit about the glacier day and the importance of that to your itinerary and what we have to offer from Glacier Bay and its amazing collection of glaciers, as well as Hubbard Glacier. Another thing that large ships don't have the opportunity to do, they used to, but the, the government really did crack down on the ability of larger ships to go into Misty Fjords National Monument. This is truly an experience that you do not want to miss. Only the smaller ships like Seaborn have the opportunity to sail into Misty Fjords National Monument. These are dramatic fjord cliffs that, that fall straight to the water. Beautiful, beautiful scenery, waterfalls all along the way. You'll have the opportunity to see a lot of wildlife. It's not uncommon in this over 2 million acres of wilderness that's part of the Tongass National Forest to see brown bear and black bear right up on the coastline. It's stunning. You'll get your binoculars out. Again, it's another day that you're going to be hanging out on the ship, just taking in all the dramatic scenery, the smells. I mean, I can feel myself being there right now. I just, I want to be there so bad. I want us to be there. I want Seaborn to be there. And I'm excited that we're going to be coming back in 2021. So lots of wildlife opportunities while you sail through Misty Fjords. And we do have excursions that'll even take you up close and even more personal um, by kayak Checking in through the fjords as well. So that's just a little touch on the itineraries. We start from seven night, we can go all the way up to 14 night. We hit all these small, really quaint, authentic destinations like Haines and Sitka in Alaska. And I'm going to turn it over to Chris really quick, who's just going to recap some of these itineraries. Yeah, no, thank you, Amy. I just hope that beautiful little brown bear cub does actually appear for uh, all of our guests, actually. Yeah, adorable, adorable. So on this slide, you can actually see the dates. Um, uh, we start obviously our season in, in May and uh, actually sail through to October. So this is 2021. We are seeing excellent, um, excellent uh, demand actually for 2021. So I would encourage uh, as a close to home for of course, those guests living in Canada and to a degree in the USA, a little further for obviously guests traveling from Latin America, but certainly a close to home opportunity to this great land full of majesty and stunning scenery. And um, obviously you can get all the information about these individual voyages off the Seaborn website uh, to present to obviously your clients. I think hey, Chris, and I, I'm going to pop in just really quick because one question that I asked a lot um, regarding Alaska is what's the best time of year to go? And I love that we have all the dates up here. Um, people say, do you go in the spring? Do you go in the summer? Do you go in the fall? Um, there really is a multitude of opportunities and it all depends on when you, what you want to experience. Springtime is a great time to go because you're going to still see the snow-capped mountains. You're going to see the animals coming alive after their winter hibernation and, and deep sleeps. You're going to see in the summer, it's going to be a little bit warmer. Um, you have great opportunity for salmon fishing, especially in July, if you're someone who wants to get out there and experience the salmon fishing. And the days are really long. Keep in mind that they have light nearly 24 hours a day in Alaska. So you can do all sorts of excursions throughout the day and see so much during your time during the summertime. And then as you get towards the 
the August and September timeframe, you're going to have a bigger opportunity to see northern lights because of the fact that the days are getting shorter. They start losing about five minutes of daylight toward the middle of July, and you'll have a greater opportunity in August and into September to see the northern lights. You're also going to see the animals come down and start to forage for food to stock up for the winter time. And if you are heading into the interior of Alaska, you have a greater opportunity to see the dramatic color changes because they experience a much earlier fall than we do here in North America. So going to places like Denali National Park in August and September are absolutely breathtaking. Sorry, I just wanted to step in there a minute because I know a lot of times that's a question that we get on Alaska. Absolutely, no apologies needed, Amy. I think that was excellent, uh, excellent information. So I did it actually intimate at the uh, start of our webinar um, that the experience that Seaborn delivers uh, really is quite exceptional and differentiated from many of the other uh, brands that actually sail in Alaska. And one of the ways that we differentiate is we offer our Ventures by Seaborn product. Now this uh, is, you can see actually some of the, uh, the kayaks uh, behind me as well and on this photograph. It's a, uh, a program that is optional for our guests. Um, we'll operate it as frequently as we can using kayaks, using zodiacs, hiking. Um, and we do have a very experienced expedition mm -hmm. team actually on board. So 11 expedition team members actually join us on the uh, Seaborn Odyssey. She'll be the ship sailing in 2021, uh, was Seaborn Sojourn previously but uh, they are true experts. And even while on deck, they're looking for wildlife to point out. They'll give narration. They're looking for plants and fauna. They're talking about the ice caps and giving the history and the, the geography, uh, the biology of the destination. They really bring it alive. And obviously for the guests that obviously take the uh, ventures excursions, those optional excursions, all pre-bookable as well in advance, um, it's really, really is, as I say, a differentiated experience. We do have a partnership as well with Swarovski. They provide the world's finest optics, uh, binoculars, and all of our expedition team actually have the Swarovski binoculars. They're also placed actually in all of our premium suites as well for guests to use, not to take home, although if you wish to buy them, we do obviously sell Swarovski binoculars actually in our retail shops on board as well but uh, the expedition team are really outfitted to very high standards. We're also gonna outfit in 2021 all our guests as well. And you can see one of our guests sporting our beautiful all weather jackets here. Now, of course the weather can be absolutely beautiful in Alaska during our sailing uh, period, but it can also get a little chilly and the jacket is very useful. It's very bright and uh, of course, uh, uh, I think makes everybody just look uh, perfect and feel comfortable while in Alaska as well. They're complimentary for all our guests. All of our ventures team, our expedition leaders will also lead Seaborn Conversations. And this is actually um, in our Grand Salon and they will take specific subjects and uh, they could be speaking about uh, ornithology, the history, Actually, they could be leading a photography seminar, et cetera. Uh, but they are uh, experts, very well trained, and they'll lead a series of conversations throughout the voyage. Now, we don't call them a lecture because for Seaborn, the conversation continues outside of the Grand Salon. You could, if you wish to, even ask one of our expedition uh, leaders to actually enjoy lunch or even join for dinner have a drink in the bar perhaps, and continue that conversation. Continue the conversation on deck as well, while we're you know, cruising um, in one of the fjords. So a really, again, differentiating program with experts that all of our guests do love and enjoy. So something that I love that we do that's completely unique to Seaborn, um, in the Caribbean, we have um, caviar in the surf. Well, in Alaska, we have caviar on the ice. So while we don't go out on an actual iceberg, we bring the caviar and champagne experience to life on our main pool deck area. 
and we create ice sculptures and we put the caviar and the champagne out on ice and it's just an amazing experience for all of our seaborne guests to come together and gather and be extremely social and enjoy the scenery of Alaska around them while enjoying some amazing Regisova caviar as well as some Montadon champagne and being very social. That's really a big part of what Seaborne is all about is creating social opportunities for our guests to connect and engage and enjoy the destinations and the company that they are traveling with. So one of those opportunities is caviar on ice party. And we do that on all of our Alaska sailings. And additionally, because we are in Alaska and this slide makes me so hungry every time I see it, <laughs> we do try to source a lot of local produce and seafood from Alaska. So like the amazing king salmon, the Dungeness crab, all fresh and brought on board and prepared by our amazing onboard chefs and um, cuisine programs at Seaborn. Now something unique that your clients can do if they're sailing with us on Seaborn is if they wanna go fishing and maybe catch a halibut or a salmon while they're in Alaska, no better way to enjoy that the fruits of your labor from those types of activities, but then to bring it back on board and have our chefs cook it on board. So we have this enjoy your catch, which is part of our shore excursions that we offer at Seaborn. And you go out, you go fishing. Some of the best salmon fishing uh, is in, like I said, in July, towards the end of June and into July. That's kind of when the king salmon starts to really flow. Um, I have been on salmon boats where we were literally catching fish like every five minutes. It was crazy. And we were out for two hours and I came home with this 18 pound salmon. And you can have it either brought on board or you can have it flash frozen and shipped home so you can enjoy it at home or portion it out depending upon how much you get. But just having it cooked on board and sharing it with all of your friends at your meal that evening, what a way to experience Alaska. I mean, really getting in there and, and enjoying the fruits of your labor and, and what you experienced that day. I totally agree, Amy. So talking about uh, shore experiences there, the uh, obviously the, the, the fishing is part of our shore experience. Seaborn actually offers seven collections of shore experiences. And you can see the different collections here from the cultural collection to the adventure collection, the mindful living collection, the journeys collection, essential collection, Epicurean collection, and of course the bespoke collection. The bespoke collection is generally all about private tours, whether it's private car and drivers, yachts and private guides, et cetera. But let's move to the next slide and we'll just talk a little bit more about the experiences actually in Alaska here. So I think you can see the uh, some of the shore experiences we offer. Uh, this is only a tiny little fraction of the experiences that can be booked. Guests actually once booked can go into our website and they can look at all of the options that we obviously uh, offer. I would say, having been to Alaska myself, that I would really encourage your clients to book as many shore experiences as possible. Uh, it really does obviously create a unique experience and lifelong memories. And I will say, actually, if people have questions around how shore experiences will be operating, we, of course, uh, only work with um, fully approved uh, partners in our destinations. And just as we will be taking um, further health and safety protocols uh, across our entire fleet, so would obviously all of our partners, our DMC partners operating any tours, et cetera, uh, where we're also operating as well. And we move to the next slide, Amy. Just really quick before we move on to the next slide, um, we did get a couple of questions about our shore excursions, um, mainly from uh, one was whether or not they're commissionable if they're booked through Seaborn, um, which at this time we do not pay commission on our shore excursions, but we do curate some amazing opportunities for your clients and very safe uh, environment for your clients as well. Um, and I know we've been talking about some social events on board and being social at Seaborn. As we move forward in the new current or the new environment, we are going to be very mindful of how our activities are impacted by um, COVID and any health and safety protocols that we might need to be very mindful of. We're, we're hopeful that 2021 and the Alaska season will be more like it used to be 
but we are going to be continuing to evaluate the science and the data that is brought to us as we look at what those social events will look like on board and also what our shore excursions will look like um, that we are offering to our clients because safety and health is our number one um, priority at this time. So anyway, we'll move on to the next slide. Maybe, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So the Ventures by Seabond program, um, I did talk a little bit about it, but this of course is again the optional shore experiences. So it's part of our seven collections under the, um, the, uh, the Ventures programming there. Um, it is optional uh, for charge or bookable in advance, again, with the, uh, the true experience of our expedition team leaders. Um, and I can tell you actually, Ventures by Seabond is really, really a, an amazing experience for all ages. Teenagers just love this as well. So we are very family orientated. We don't of course have kids clubs on board our ships, but we will curate experiences for children. But I can again attest that the Ventures by Seabourn program is loved, especially by teenagers, by adults, and even actually grandparents, for example. We've seen 90 year olds actually in Zodiacs getting up close and personal you know, in the uh, in the great land of Alaska. So it really is um, open for everybody. And again, not to be disappointed, probably something to be booking in advance. The uh, Ventures program operates, as you can see, in a number of destinations from Alert Bay through to, you know, Haines, et cetera. And you can see all the different um, locations here uh, and, and basically what we offer. It also, in Alaska, we, we do offer some catamaran experiences, uh, but the, uh, the kayaking and the Zodiacs really do uh, allow you to get up close and personal and so of course take some fantastic photography as well. In to the Ventures program, we also have Seaborne Journeys. And now Seaborne Journeys is an opportunity to take you beyond what we offer off of our ships and the destinations that we visit on our itineraries. So the itineraries are mainly gonna focus on the inside passage and the marine journey through Alaska, but there is so much more that Alaska as well as British Columbia has to offer. So our seaborne journey programs are pre and post land excursions and they take you to explore some of the world's most amazing treasured sites. And we offer seaborne journeys not only in Alaska, but we offer them in all of the continents that we visit. So make sure to check those out. But today we're gonna obviously talk specifically about what we offer by way of seaborne journeys in Alaska, as well as British Columbia. So our seaborne journeys are fully escorted options and they not only are escorted, but they are done in smaller groups between two and 10 guests. So for your clients who want to experience more of a destination, but they want to do it in a small, more intimate opportunity, this is where you want to steer them. And for you, the benefit for you is that if you book a seaborne journey, you are earning a 14% commission on that seaborne journey that you're booking with us. We do curate very quality hotels, which Chris is going to talk about. I'm going to go into some of the destinations that we visit first of all, are opportunities for destinations that you can visit as far as seaborne journeys are concerned. And one of the biggest highlights, as I mentioned, if you're doing those 10 and 11 night journeys between Vancouver and Whittier, going into the interior and going into Denali National Park. So our Denali seaborne journey is an amazing, fully escorted, five or six day, depending upon the itinerary that you choose, optional extension onto that 10 or 11 night Alaska journey. So it's gonna give you the opportunity to do some um, traveling by plane, traveling by train into the interior and visit the absolute marquee destination in Alaska, which is Denali National Park. And the opportunity to see Mount McKinley, which is the largest mountain in North America. Keep in mind, Alaska is still North America. <laughs> um, and you can travel in there by train. We're gonna take you into the park on the Tundra Wilderness Tour, which is the deepest that you can go into Denali National Park in one day. For those of you who don't know, you can't just 
get in your car and drive in Denali National Park. You can only get into Denali National Park by way of National Park buses. There are very big restrictions on the number of people that can get into the park in a day because they wanna make sure they're minimizing the footprint into this beautiful, pristine, majestic destination. And while you're in there, you'll have the opportunity to see what they call the big five, which are all the animals, the, the brown bear, um, the moose, the caribou, the gray wolves, and the mountain goats. Those are what they consider the big five. You might have the opportunity to see those. And the deeper you go into the park, like you do on the Tundra Wilderness Tour, the more opportunity you have to see that wildlife. And you'll have opportunities for some amazing dining experience in Alaska. You'll also be staying in some some of the best hotel properties that there are in Alaska. And Chris is gonna share a little bit more about that. But if you wanna travel deeper into, into Alaska, tagging on this Seaborn journey to Denali National Park is by far what you wanna be suggesting to your clients. Now, we also offer in British Columbia for those sailings that are out of Vancouver, we offer the opportunity to go to the UNESCO Banff National Park and travel by Rocky Mountaineer and Gold Leaf Service. So Rocky Mountaineer is the premier and especially Gold Leaf Service is the premier rail travel journey through the interior of British Columbia, British Columbia and into the Canadian Rockies. It is a true truly amazing experience hitting those national parks like Banff National Park and Yoho National Park. Stunning, stunning scenery along the way, but you're sitting in these beautifully domed train cars being served amazing food as you're traveling through these scenic Rockies and you have the opportunity to travel in the dome and then also sit in the dining car and enjoy your meal service. You'll be on the train for about um, eight to 10 hours. So you're gonna have breakfast, lunch and dinner on the train. And then you have an overnight and you get on the train and travel continue into further into the Rockies. So it's a stunning, stunning experience. And again, keep in mind, these are fully uh, commissionable for you as the travel advisor, as, a, as you offer this as an opportunity for your guests to travel through the Canadian Rockies. We also offer an extension into Whistler and Blackcomb Mountain Resort. So in the summertime, this is a hiker's dream. Anybody that wants to visit um, Whistler and Blackcomb, obviously in the winter, it's a skiing paradise, but in the summertime, it's hiking and mountain biking, and you have the opportunity to stay right in Whistler, the heart of Whistler Village, where there's some unbelievable restaurants, some amazing shopping. You can also take the gondola up to the top of Whistler Mountain and then take the peak to peak gondola between Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains for some stunning views and some great hiking opportunities. Whether you wanna just go for a mile or five miles, it's all there right there for you in um, Whistler Blackcomb Mountain. And again, that's another one of our journeys that we offer at, in conjunction with our sailings out of Vancouver. Then lastly, I wanna share with you, we do have the opportunity, if you don't wanna go all the way into Denali, but you want a little bit of a shorter experience in the interior of Alaska, kind of hanging around the Anchorage, um, Alieska area, you can do the Alieska Chugach, Chugach Mountain Resort. And the Alieska Resort is beautiful. It sits at the base of Alieska Mountain. Again, this is an opportunity for clients in the winter. They might go skiing there, but in the summer, you can take the gondola up to the top of Mount Alieska and you can do some hiking around there and get some stunning views of the Chugach Mountain Range around, all the hanging glaciers. This is a great opportunity to see wildlife as well. I have been on that gondola and I have seen black bears right below me every time. You can actually hike up the mountain. Um, so there is just a, an abundance of things to do if you do choose to do the Alieska Chugach Mountain Resort. And in addition to Alieska, you also spend some time in Anchorage, which is the largest city in Alaska. It's not the capital, keep in mind Juneau is the capital, but Anchorage is the largest city in Alaska and you're gonna be right in the heart of Alaska at the Captain Cook Hotel. So Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about those hotel properties that are part of these journeys? Well, no, thank you, uh, Amy. Um, we really have curated with, again, our partners, some excellent uh, Seaborne journeys pre and post. But again, uh, if guests actually are only looking for that one night pre or post, we have selected really the best hotels in the location. Now, I will say um, that Alaska uh, doesn't necessarily have a whole host of five-star, deluxe, beautiful, stunning, luxury hotels. But, you know, location, location, location. That is actually sometimes what makes a hotel absolutely fantastic. And authenticity and an indigenous nature uh, giving you that true feeling that you are in uh, Alaska, actually. 
So the Hotel Captain Cook in Anchorage, this is our preferred hotel for our guests actually in Anchorage. You can book all these hotels through Seaborn. They are commissionable as well. And then I think, Amy, the next slide shows the very, very central location of what I think is the best hotel actually in Juneau, um, really in the heart of the, uh, the main street there that you can step right outside. Again, remember what I said though, uh, it's not necessarily a five-star deluxe hotel, but it is the best actually in Juneau. In Vancouver, if we move to the next slide though, you do have a stunning property uh, that you can again book through Seaborn. It's the uh, Pacific Rim property in Vancouver. Amazing location, gorgeous, gorgeous views. And again, you know, maybe a little dip in the swimming pool there uh, as well, as you can see from that picture, but um, obviously, uh, excellent hotels that uh, you can book all through Seaborn. And uh, we're also talking about booking, of course. Uh, we know people are all in the dreaming stage. Hopefully some are in the planning stage and then some are in the booking stage. And to actually uh, travel, of course, you all know how to book flights, but you can book flights through our own program, FlightEase. You will find that sometimes the pricing is excellent. Seaborn is the ultra luxury brand, of course, of the Carnival Corporation, but our Flighties program actually is the same program for all of our brands, and therefore there is significant purchase power by our corporation with the airlines, and you'll find therefore good, good, good pricing. We also operate though Seaborn Private Air, and I think in the current climate, we have been seeing an increased number of requests actually quotations for Seaborn Private Air. So we launched this product about a year ago and the guest would actually charter the aircraft. So for example, if they were flying with another couple, uh, then a aircraft capable of holding four to six guests, they could even charter if they wanted a larger plane holding eight to 10 guests if they wished, but they could then split the cost of that plane of course, across the four of them, you know, the two couples, etc. It is also fully inclusive. When you normally charter a plane, a private plane, you also have to then decide, you know, do you want some food and beverage? You even have to often uh, pay for the uh, the flight attendant, etc. On board, it's a fully curated, inclusive product. We even serve our Regis over caviar. We serve our Montedon Champagne. So the experience, the Seaborne experience really does start. It is a, what we call door to deck service. So it includes private airport transfers from your home to the airport um, and of course to the ship, et cetera. So full door to deck service. Uh, we also offer in the Seaborne Private Air Program a next port protection of up to a thousand miles. So that means if for any reason the plane didn't actually reach the ship in time for departure. That no additional cost, of course, we will guarantee to get guests to the ship up to a thousand miles. And I'm sure you're all aware it takes a ship quite a few days to sail a thousand miles. So uh, we're pretty pretty sure that we get our guests to uh, to the ships. But two two options: flighties or seaborne private air um, uh, for booking uh, booking your flights. And Amy, maybe. You can talk through our book with confidence and then a couple of the uh, current promotions that we have in market now. Yeah, I would love to. So our book with, book with confidence um, policy, it's not a promotion. I want to make sure that everyone is aware because we, we want to make sure that your clients are booking with us and they do feel confident about that booking opportunity. So the book with confidence policy, it is running through uh, September 30th currently. So it's valid for any new bookings that are booked before September 30th of 2020 and which sale before December 31st of 2021. So you can see that we are feeling confident that 2021 is going to be a little bit more normal than what we experienced in 2020. Guests on these bookings will have the opportunity to cancel up to 30 days prior to their sailing, and they'll receive 100% future cruise credit for any monies that they have paid to Seaborn. So they can feel free to utilize that future cruise credit on a new sailing with Seaborn if they just don't feel confident about sailing with us um, up to 30 days prior to their current booking. Now, another addition to this policy when we revamped it uh, earlier in July, we added the best fare 
guarantee. So again, for those guests who book before September 30th, if they happen to find their sailing available on Seaborn website for less than what they paid for it, you as the travel advisor can reach out to us and we will make it right. It might be in the form of an upgrade. It might be in the form of a future cruise, or sorry, a shipboard credit, or um, maybe some monies back. It just all depends on what the sailing landscape looks like. This is not an automatic uh, benefit. You do need to reach out and advise us that you did see the, the rate drop or being lower than what your clients had paid. So that is the best fare guarantee on top of our book with confidence policy. And then in addition to the policy, we do have a few promotions out there that we wanna make sure that you're aware of. One is our sensational sweet savings promotion. Now this we started way back in March during global partner appreciation that unfortunately was impacted as we all know. And we've just continued it on, but this is an opportunity for on select sailings, your clients to find up to 50% reduced deposits. And some of these amazing amenities, amenities that you see listed here from upgrades to shipboard credits, make sure to check out the available sailings on our sensational sweet savings offer. This is currently running through the end of September. So September 30th is when it's due to expire. And then on top of the sensational sweet savings, you can combine that opportunity with an early bonus savings. So if you buy now and you pay in full by September 30th, your clients are going to receive an extra 10% off their, sa their sailing. So there is an advantage to paying in full early. And this is something that we've heard for years that our clients would like to see as well as our travel partners. And so now's the time to take advantage. And Chris, we wanted to cover really quickly in the, the brief amount of time that we have left, just remind some of our clients of who Seaborn is and, and our travel partners uh, about who Seaborn is and what our advantages are. No, absolutely. Thank you very, very much, Amy. And we, you know, I will just say, we know that not every client is obviously, you know, has the confidence to make a booking yet. But what we are hearing a lot is that some clients do wish to actually make future bookings so they have something to look forward to. I keep hearing that more and more and more and more. And actually through our own surveys, for our last guest survey, we got over a 90% uh, score when we asked the question, do you want to receive promotional information about future, future bookings? Over 90%. So we are responding appropriately. And as Amy talked through, we have some uh, excellent promotions and of course the policy, the book with confidence policy. So this is our Seaborne fleet on the slide now. Odyssey, Seaborne Odyssey will be sailing in Alaska in 2021, but OSQ, as we like to call the, uh, the, uh, the first three, Odyssey, Sojourn and Quest, they are the identical ship. They have 229 suites on board and that is a 458 maximum guest capacity. Now we may not be filling our ships to full capacity. That still is to be determined. Um, but uh, you know, if we're told we can only fill them to 90%, then that's what we'll fill them to, of course. The next class of ship is the Encore class. Uh, Encore and Ovation are identical ships. They're basically the same as OSQ, but they just have one additional deck and they have 300 ship, uh, suites on board, that's 600 guests. All of our ships have very, very generous guest space. They're very intimate. When you're on board, you'll feel that you're in exactly the same ship. Seaborne Square, for example, is aft on every single ship on deck seven. The main restaurant is forward on deck four on every single ship. They're basically all the same. The only difference being that one extra deck of suites on Encore and Ovation. And many people do say that they're sort of a home from home feeling, regardless of whether they, uh, you know, only sailed on one ship and then actually stepping onto another ship. We're truly, truly excited as well that uh, we will be launching in 2021 the new ultra luxury, purpose designed, purpose built Seaborne Venture for expedition cruising. And Seaborne Venture will actually be sailing in the Arctic, in Antarctica, deep into the Amazon. Um, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, et cetera. So really exciting. And she's a smaller ship, but of course, PC6 ice class rated. There is a number of uh, Seaborne differences. Of course, we are an all inclusive product. So all of your premium alcohol, all your culinary, including that Regis over caviar, 
all complementary. We also, of course, have a no tipping policy um, and all of our suites are ocean front. And uh, actually on OSQ, 90% of our suites have full verandas and on Encore Innovation, 100% of our suites have full verandas. And I think on the next slide, we're just showing, uh, Amy, some of our partnerships, which are really uh, valuable because they help curate the guest experience. So Thomas Keller, very famous chef in uh, the United States, we are proud that we offer the grill by Thomas Keller on our ships across all the, uh, all the fleet. We also offer some of his uh, uh, culinary options on deck at lunches as well. And actually in the colonnade once a week, we'll serve his ad hoc dinner, famous actually in Napa Valley at his restaurant actually there. But evening entertainment is also curated by Sir Tim Rice, a fellow Brit. Uh, who's written some uh, very famous tunes that I'm sure you would all, uh, all recognize. As Far and Wellness is curated by Dr. Andrew Weil. Our cocktails on board are curated by our mixologist, Brian Van Flander, who has been voted in the past one of the world's best mixologists. All of your in-suite products are molten brown and they are a special exclusive blend uh, and scent for Seaborn. And the new partnership, Heli Hansen, are providing all of our jackets. And I know Amy did mention UNESCO. We are proud that Seaborn is the official cruise partner to UNESCO. And of course, we sail to uh, all, uh, all seven continents, actually. So it's not only about Alaska, but when we are operating, and we will be operating again in the future, we take our guests all over the world. And many guests actually sail with us three or four or five times a year as well. And I will just call out that our 2022 World Cruise is available for what we call future-born bookings. That's ahead of the public sale, uh, which opens up on September uh, the 10th, actually. And uh, it's 145-day navigation around the world in 2022. So what better reason do you need to book with Seaborn than look at this slide? All these accolades. <laughs> there are so many that it's just, we don't have enough time to articulate, but I do want to point out a couple that we are most proud of. Our accolades from Con S Traveler and Travel and Leisure, because those are the ones that are voted on by your clients directly. And we are so proud to have won awards from them year over year. And I just wanted to highlight those, but all of these accolades should speak volumes to your clients as to why you should consider booking with Seaborn. And then for you, when it comes to learning and staying engaged with Seaborn, we wanna make sure that we're pointing out these resources. So goseaborn.com is the most up-to-date information about Seaborn. We also provide promo and marketing tools for you there. If you haven't engaged yet in Seaborn Academy, that is the best way to learn about the brand up close and personal. It also helps you to learn more about how to sell to luxury clients, which is uh, just general information that any uh, travel advisor wanting to advance their sales should engage in. Seaborn Insider, if you haven't signed up, we need you to. You can do that by going to www.seaborntravelpros.com. That's where you're going to learn the latest and greatest on everything that's happening with Seaborn. You'll be the first to know. Our YouTube channel, we have some amazing videos that speak volumes to our expedition products, to our onboard product subscribe to that. That's a great way for you to share with your clients. And then Current is our blog. So we have a great blog. And actually Current, we have a, an amazing blog about Alaska where you can learn even more in-depth details about what Seaborn offers and differentiates us from sailing in Alaska versus others out there. So lastly, I think, Chris, we wanted to just address um, health and safety protocol questions that might have- Yeah, no, out. absolutely. And um, before I do, I would really encourage, leverage those tools and resources, you know, email a story from current, share a video uh, from the Seaborn video library, uh, et cetera. They're all great tools to help uh, make the clients uh, transition from dreaming to planning. So health and safety protocols, I know it's a very, very important topic. Not sure if any of you had the opportunity to tune in a couple of weeks back to the uh, WTTC Carnival Corporation Science Summit, but I think one of the key takeaways from that summit with some of some really notable doctors um, and advisors was that the cruise industry has got to take the guidance and has got to look at the science and the data 
The other point that's coming through is the fluidity of the situation and how it changes so rapidly. And one of the things that Seaborn does not want to do is put a statement out today that a guest is going to be required to do something that in two months time, when we're sailing in the future, guests do not need to do. So we're really going to ensure that the right health and safety protocols are in place when we're sailing. And that will, of course, cover pre-boarding. It'll in, it, cover the onboard experience, obviously dining protocols, et cetera. But I think, you know, we're seeing some great green shoots, as we say. Um, we're seeing actually even in today's news that the hope of a vaccine is, uh, is, is moving faster than actually previously thought. So again, when the time is right, we're going to embrace all the guidance, the science, the data, and we will have the right health and safety protocols for our guests. And we'll obviously follow the guidance, the guidance that is set by the governments, by the destinations we visit. It is not necessarily Seaborn or our other cruise brands in the industry that obviously set that uh, policy. It is the places we visit. And of course, the health, safety of our crew our guests and the people and the destinations we visit is our number one priority. And if anybody's doubting whether the cruise industry will return, the answer to that is absolutely. 33 million people cruised in 2019 in the world. And cruising offers the most amazing travel experience, a rewarding, full of value travel experience. And cruising will be back. And I just ask all of you to have confidence and uh, be positive with your clients as well. And, um, you know, at this time, we're doing our best. Um, we really are working incredibly hard, as all of our advisors are around the world. And I think uh, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for that incredible support, past, present, and, of course, in the future, because uh, we will be back. So Amy, maybe there's a few questions before we uh, close out at the top of the hour. And I appreciate you've answered a few as we've gone through, but if there's any remaining, we can- uh... I've tried, I've tried. There's one that I didn't answer through the chat though that I wanted to address. Someone was asking about the mosquitoes oh. in Alaska. So <laughs> on a lighter topic, um, the mosquitoes in Alaska can be known as the state bird from time to time, um, but it really does depend on the year Every year, the mosquito population is different. Um, I would say they're at their height in the mid to late July timeframe. So it's always wise for you to pack some mosquito repellent in your luggage with you when you travel to Alaska, whether it be on ship or on land. Um, we did get some questions about, um, let's see. La, 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 la. We got some questions about commission on shore excursions, which we already addressed. Um, but I don't know if Vivian or anyone else um, has been monitoring the chat box more closely than I have while I've been trying to present at the same time that we could address a few other questions. Thank you, Amy. Um, I have, actually, I want to bring you back. You have mentioned this before, but I've received multiple questions, repeat questions regarding the excursions and the ventures. So could you go back to what you said? Are the shore excursions included in the fair? And what would be um, a charge for the ventures typically? So shore excursions are not included in their cruise fare. And we, we intentionally don't do uh, include shore excursions in the cruise fare because we know that clients like a wide range of shore excursion opportunities. And as you saw in the slide that Chris went through, we do have several different categories that we lump our shore excursions into based on what our clients are interested in. We also try to make sure that our groups are very small when it comes to the shore excursions. Um, I think this will bode very well moving into the future. Uh, and then the Ventures program, Chris, maybe you can talk a little bit more in specific about the Ventures program and how it differentiates from shore excursions um, as far as booking and, and whatnot. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the Ventures program is a wide choice as I think you, you sort of saw on one of the slides of options. We operate them in Alaska as, as, as frequently as we possibly can. We'll actually launch Zodiacs from our marina platform from the back of the ship, uh, which is really exciting. Guests love to sort of watch as 
as others are going out in their kayaks or going into the Zodiac. I mean, it really is an intimate program. Again, small, small groups, um, uh, obviously going out in Zodiacs, et cetera. Pricing, pricing will vary depending upon, you know, the, the time uh, of the shore experience. So probably starting, um, you know, around $175, but it could be going up even up to $500 uh, also, depending upon the um, the excursion, the experience that you are choosing with Ventures uh, by Seaborn. One of the biggest takeaways as well is they're all operated by our own expedition team members who have been literally so well trained by our vice president of expeditions, Robin West. Um, they're passionate about what they do. And I think just as Amy was sharing a little bit of her passion when she was talking about the itineraries, you know, that, that passion of our expedition team members transforms the experience for our guests um, and then the ability to obviously continue conversations with them on board have drinks have dinner with them it really is uh, quite a unique program so we do have some other questions um, that have come up so one person is asking and i'm sure several are wondering do we have a list of our sales managers that we can share um, and provide opportunities for you to collaborate on promotional support. So we don't have a list that's been distributed as you know, or can imagine during this time, we have been experiencing some re reduction in Salesforce and resources. If you are wanting to understand who your sales manager is or how to connect with us best, um, I will offer up my email. It's a price at seaborn.com. You can reach out to me and I will make sure that you are connected with your sales manager. And I know the support from both our Seaborn direct team, as well as our partners at Holland America, sales managers also represent Seaborn. We'll make sure that you are covered. So feel free to reach out to me at a price at seaborn.com. Um, another great question is, do we have any special pricing for our solo travelers? We certainly do. We have a dedicated website for solo travel travelers. And Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's seabornsolotravelers.com, correct? That is correct. Yes, there's a link off uh, seaborn.com. And solo pricing generally starts at 125% uh, of, uh, of the fare. Perfect. So make sure you check that out. That's seabornsolotravelers.com. Um, gotten a few kudos from some of our loyal travelers about how Seaborn is amazing and um, they've booked their own cabin for next Alaska. So that's awesome. Um, will there be a recording of this that they can watch again or send to their staff? So there is a recording and Viviana, maybe you can correct me here if I'm wrong, but it is going to be posted on YouTube. Will the folks that are on right now get an, an email advising them of where they can find that? Absolutely. Thank you, Amy. Um, we will follow up with all the material. So everyone who, who's connected here will receive your contacts and all the information on this and other cruises. Um, if you're watching from YouTube, please type your email now so we can reach out to you. Um, those of you who are on Zoom, we've already got your contacts. Um, and yes, this will be available on our YouTube channel. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel too. Um, now that I'm, while I'm at it, I want to jump in here and he, there's a question from Noem. She would like to know, is the private air program commissionable? Yes, yes. actually it is commissionable. It's commissionable at a 5%. Now, one thing I would say is don't uh, get hung up on that single digit because private air is very expensive, uh, but it is well in demand, and uh, you can definitely earn some, some pretty healthy additional compensation by booking Seaborne private air. So yes, commissionable at 5%. Great question, Norm. Brilliant. Um, Amy, I know you have answered some of these questions, but just for those who haven't seen your reply, um, Susan would like to know if the agent commissions are protected when cruises are canceled. 
Great question. And I was actually going to bring that up. So on any of the sailings that we have paused and we have canceled, we are protecting commission on those bookings that were paid in full. So if your clients were paid in full, we are protecting your commission. And additionally, don't forget that on those future cruise credits that have been issued as part of the pause, you are also going to earn commission on those future cruise credits used. So it's really important to note that um, we know that you did a lot of hard work in setting up those original cruises and you're going to end up having to do the same amount of work to set up those new cruises. So it's the right thing to do in making sure that you are compensated with those future cruise credits when they're used as well. Thank you. Here's a question from Joan. Do you have accommodations for three adults in a cabin? Yes. We do, and Chris, I'm gonna let you take that because I know you know more of the, the deck configuration than I do. Okay, what was the question? Because I was reading a, 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 a chat box, uh, which is- Triples, can we accommodate triples? Me. Triple adults triples? in a stateroom. Yeah, we don't actually, I mean, we do allow triples. Um, we don't get many requests to be very honest. Most of the Seaborn guests would like to have a connecting suite and we do have connecting suites. Sometimes we also get uh, get uh, guests that actually want a second suite, and they specifically say they don't want it connecting. Can it be a, a you know down the corridor or even on a different deck? So each to their own. Uh, but you can have a, a triple um, if uh, if required, uh, definitely. Thank you, Chris. Um, here's another one from Susan. She would like to know if Venture is still on track for um, the initial. Um, scheduled sailing date because she's got clients there. No, great question. We we're still in <clears throat> we're still in negotiations with the uh, with the shipbuilders uh, who obviously are in Italy and we don't have an update uh, as of yet. We have been confirmed that the ship will definitely be, be delivered in 2021. Um, so that is good news. But we're still actually in negotiations. You know, full transparency. The yards were shut down. And so they're trying to have to assess that because the ship is still um, basically a year out from delivery, can they pick up that time? So it's not an easy decision. And so we're allowing the yard to, uh, to determine and then we'll obviously providing our updates, but uh, appreciate the question. She's gonna be such a beautiful ship. Uh, she is purpose built, purpose designed um, and has some stunning accommodations. The very first two story Grand Winter Garden Suite in Seabourn, and the very first ever panorama suite that is a larger uh, suite than a veranda, slightly smaller than a penthouse, but has a wonderful, wonderful sort of view to the world outside with a beautiful floor to ceiling, bay window, uh, sofa seating area. Um, she's gonna be just stunning. So uh, thank you for anybody who's uh, encouraging their clients to book Seabourn Venture. Don't forget about those amazing submarines that are going to be on board too. <laughs> so I also saw here, Viviana, a question. Someone wants me to repeat the website for Seaborn Insider. So that's www.seaborntravelpros.com. www.seaborntravelpros.com. And a question just came up on the panorama suite. Does it have a balcony or only the floor to ceiling windows? It does have a balcony and those amazing floor to ceiling windows. So double bonus on that panoramic suite. Thank you, Amy. I have another question here from Michelle. She would like to know what are the party sizes for your private air opportunities? Well, they range from, isn't it Chris, from a couple up to 12 guests, is that right? Well, for Seaborn Private Air, the actual, the actual answer is whatever your client wants, we can arrange. So even if you're actually organizing a group and you've got 20 suites and there's 40 guests, we can actually find the appropriate aircraft through obviously the brokers that we're working with um, for that particular size of group. And as I said, we are seeing far more requests we do do um, and obviously have a great group program as well. Maybe Amy, you can give a little bit of quick information about our group offering. But groups, actually, the ceiling on most groups is, um, is 100 guests. Uh, but that obviously, you know, you could charter, charter a relevant size aircraft for that and fly everybody private. 
for a smaller, you know, for couples, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, it's the appropriate size of plane. And again, the, uh, we would match the right size plane for the group that you're looking for. Thank you, Chris. Um, Julio's question is still regarding the flight, the, the air program. He would like to know if that applies to international markets too. It does, it's a global program. Thank you very much for asking that question, actually. Um, so we are working with one of the world's finest um, charter brokers, uh, full, full regulation, uh, full health and safety protocols. In fact, we do have information on the Seaborne website and we can basically um, pick up, uh, schedule private flights anywhere in the world bar a couple of countries um, which are banned for us to uh, obviously sell in and actually operate in, etc. So uh, I think for anybody living in Latin America, the United States or Canada, we're set to go. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, those were all the questions on the chat. Um, I really appreciate your time, Chris, and Amy, and everyone who joined us and had, were curious with all the questions. Um, I do hope that operations will resume as soon as possible. Um, please stay safe and stay tuned for more of our webinars. And again, just in case you're wondering, this will be available and we will share all their contact details with everyone. Thank you so much. Excellent. Stay well, everybody, and stay positive.